We all know about the huge kerfuffle between Konami and Kojima. We, of course, don't really know what actually happened to cause it, and unfortunately this video is not the reveal of that. It is instead EA COO Peter Moore chiming in on what he thinks should happen, and according to him, Konami and Kojima will be just fine. Now, he said this in a recent interview with GameSpot, and he said, quote, I've always liked Kojima-san. I got on with him during my days at Microsoft. I just think what's going on there, I just think both of them should kiss and make up. Then we're talking about the dynamics of Japanese business partnerships. He went on to say, from my experience, and I spent a lot of time working in Japan, I think that Konami and Kojima will figure it out. Those kind of a business relationships in Japan are typically for life, and Konami is such an important part in what's gone on there. Clearly, they're at a rocky stage in their marriage, but you should take what is said about Kojima Productions, about a game not hearing to budget, about a game not being ready, and you can apply that to a lot of people. They'll kiss and make up. They'll be fine. Now, maybe in most cases he would be right. He obviously knows more about the ins and out of how Japanese businesses and partnerships and all that work than I do. But this seems like a very permanent breakup. They're not just on a break, they are breaking up, never speaking to each other again, glaring each other from five feet away when they bump into each other in public kind of breakup. Because, well, you don't scrub someone's name from their own work, break down their studio and rename it somewhere generic, which was like studio number nine or something along those lines. I'm sure someone will comment the exact name, but something generic, production company and number nine, or something, it doesn't matter, something generic and completely has shunned Kojima to the point where he's not even been allowed to speak about it, probably because of some contract nonsense. So given that the lengths has, Konami has done to the point where they, of course, even removed PT from the PlayStation Store and, of course, cancelled the game and have said that, you know, this is Kojima's last Metal Gear game, yada, 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 I think they're done. And that might actually be a good thing, as much as I mourn the loss of Silent Hills, a great game that could have been, maybe it's a great time for Kojima to kind of spread his wings. He's Hideo Kojima, he's going to be fine. He can show up at the do doorstep of any publisher, like, I don't know, Microsoft or Sony, Nintendo, you know. Excuse me, my name's Hideo Kojima and I've got an idea for a game. And they will literally just hand him a huge sack of cash and say, have at it. Because people will probably be very, very interested because it's got his name on it. So I don't think Kojima's going to go back to Konami. He doesn't need Konami. Konami need him, if anything. And given that the lengths they've gone to to kind of scrub him from Metal Gear 5, I won't really blame him if he didn't want anything else to do with them after exactly what's been going on. Apologies there, apparently someone set the smoke alarm off, which is suboptimal. Anyway, what's your opinion on this? Do you think there's even a slight chance that Konami and Kojima are going to kiss and make up? My thoughts are not a snowball's chance in hell, but of course I could be completely and utterly wrong. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.